bottom of that ravine is a Jeep. The Jeep rolled about four or five times off of this ledge right here. We hit kind of an embankment like this, stalled for a second, and then we rolled three or four times about 100 feet down. Max, I believe, is the kid's name who rolled this. He wrecked his car, he's only 16. So we're gonna try to keep him stressed out as long as we can while we do all this work. Reveal to him his Jeep that's already been repaired, which he is gonna think is in a pile of parts and pieces. No, you guys are lying. What? I did the exact same thing because I had a Jeep Cherokee. My buddy had a giant lifted laser and we went to a subdivision that was being built, had a race, we tipped that right out on the side. We were racing and I hit an unfinished curb and it literally just goes boom. Only time I've ever wrecked a vehicle. <laughs> on the street <laughs> okay, I with people in it with me. It, that wasn't on purpose. And uh, it jacked up my Jeep pretty good, but it was cool. Hi camera. I know you've been watching already, but I figured I'd catch you guys up on what's going on. Over the weekend, 16 year old kid up here last night or the night before, brand new Jeep, summertime starting, super pumped, came up, doing some off-roading. This all sounds so eerily familiar too, because this <laughs> same thing happened pretty much exactly to me. Anyways, uh, he rolled his Jeep off of the edge. This is in the kind of the foothills here by our houses. Uh, and there's some really like, deceivingly steep uh, hills in here. So right here down below us somewhere is the kids new to him Jeep. He's okay. One of his friends got life flighted to the hospital. Nobody's seriously injured, but there were some injuries. For how gnarly this roll is, it's pretty lucky for all of them. Yeah, it looks away. like he must have rolled at least four or five times. I want to get this thing out of here before he's out of school. That'd be pretty sweet. Right, just have it out, ready to go. When you're 16 and something like this happens, kind of the end of the world. Parents are pissed. Nobody trusts you, your friend's parents are pissed. So we're gonna see what we can do to try to make this a little bit better situation for him. Because I, I rolled my Jeep when I was 16, it wasn't this severe, but. I didn't know you rolled a Jeep. Yeah, I was racing, I tipped it on the side. I thought it had a safety on it to not fly into shit. Why did it allow me just to fly into so it? So now we got two down vehicles down here we gotta rescue. No, I'll fly this into the trees. You had it for 30 seconds. It was 45. Guys, I wanna show you something real quick. As you know, what we do is expensive. Building Jeeps for people, giving stuff away, doing what we do, well, it comes with kind of a high price tag, but that's okay because we have awesome sponsors that support the channel and awesome viewers like you guys that watch our videos. So I wanna show you something. The sponsor of today's video is in my bathroom. Ready for this? This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is one of my favorite things, believe it or not. And you're like, bro, it's a toothbrush. You're right, but you're also wrong. Because this right here is one of the greatest toothbrushes I've ever used in my entire life. This company reached out to us like a year ago and they're like, hey, try this toothbrush if you like it. You know, will you do an ad for us? So I was like, well, send it out and we'll see if we like it. Turns out I love it. This toothbrush is capable of running at about 40,000 strokes per minute. That's a lot but it's not so aggressive that it's gonna like rip the enamel off your teeth. It's just the right amount to be able to get you white teeth, fresh breath, but here's the best part, you ready for this? One of my biggest pet peeves is brushing your teeth and then having to wash the toothbrush and then put it away in a drawer and just having it kind of bounce around with other stuff. It's kind of gross and it makes a mess. This bad boy comes with this stamp. Now it's not plugged in right now because it does have a, a cord, but basically that goes in there and there's a UV light in there that disinfects and dries the toothbrush. So every time I pull this thing out to brush my teeth, it's clean, sanitized, and ready to go. Just like that. Guys, I'm telling you right now, everybody that I've talked to about this toothbrush that's got one has absolutely loved it. My whole family uses it, all the guys here at the shop use them, and I think you should too. So guys, right now, Tau Clean, they're gonna hook you up. They're gonna give you over 64% off if you place an order by clicking the link in my description below. Now, this price is gonna change soon, I think after like the 4th of July or something like that, because well, you can't keep them cheap forever. And if you order two of them, you're getting free shipping. So thank you, Tao, for sponsoring the channel. Thank you for helping us pay for the upgrades on Max's Jeep. And thank you for giving me a pearly white smile. So click the link in my description below, and get yourself one right now before the sale's up.
Are you holding the remote upside down? Upside down because it's obviously upside down. So I'm just trying to see it straight on. <laughs> see it? You crashed right into the dirt. Yeah, see that's messed up, man. The way that started up doesn't make me... Wow. It made a whole bunch of like... <laughs> I mean, granted, you're really close to my face. All things considered, this could have been way worse. Luckily, he kind of flipped over this big rock here, which put him upright. Landing upright after something like that is always nice because you're way less discombobulated. Because if you land upside down, you're already on the slope, you're in a ravine, you don't know what's up, what's down. If somebody's hurt, it just makes things way worse. Right now we're trying to hook to the front of the Jeep so that the five ton wrecker can then pull it straight up the hill because I think if it's attacking the brush this way, it will uh, be the easiest and cause the least amount of damage to this Jeep. I'm gonna wrap it around this front leaf spring mount. Alan's gonna make his yee yee sound. Yee yee! No, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, your yee yee is very powerful. You're the wolf, boy that cried wolf. Oh, really? Except now you're the boy that cried yee yee. It's uh, gonna be a little bit difficult. We got a big boulder right here. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. We may have to stop here real quick. We put two bow shackles, one around each leaf spring mounts, you know, and then we came to the middle with another bow shackle. Right down at the bottom, there was a three foot boulder we had to go over. It worked out pretty good. Things all right. Can't tell. It looks good right now. those vehicles all right pulled right up uh, so now I'm just gonna drive forward and steer out get the Jeep on some flat uh, ground get the tires inflated and see if it'll start and drive down the mountain Now we're gonna take this tire off, put the spare on, so we have four good tires. As soon as the key gets here, should be able to drive this right off the mountain. What is this one? Three quarters? One size too big. Got it? Yep, and I'll throw you another tire. <laughs> there you go. Got it. I think they rolled three or four times, and the amount of damage on here is like minimal. The minimal. light bar got ripped out, fenders got destroyed. And one, only one tire is off the beat. The other three are still good. It's pretty impressive. So right now we're trying to put the key in to start it. The uh, owner the said that it used to be able to start without a key. We have not been that lucky, so we got the actual keys, and so far we haven't been able to get it going. You jiggle and all. So now we're using all of our knowledge with jiggling, <laughs> flicking, bopping, twisting, and praying. And hopefully it starts and then we drive it on out of here. I had a car that it got Forward rotated and, and you had to just force it the opposite direction. There you go. 
Hey. Now you got a nice clean keyhole. <laughs> All right, oh, now we got go. power. Yeah. Now yeah, we go. Keyword. There we go. There you oh, go. There we go. Huh? top of the hill and it's running the key must have broken off when they rolled or something happened because the ignition was completely jammed so as you saw we just had to cut that open the reason I did that is because a Jeep steering column is like 50 bucks at the junkyard so we can swap it out and this kid's kind of been through the ringer the last couple days right you know you roll your Jeep you're 16 years old it's your first car you're out with your buddies you hurt one of your buddies who's in the hospital now because he got ejected or something. I don't know the whole story, but I know that I know that they didn't all walk away, you know, unscratched. Some of you may be thinking like, oh, come on, young, dumb kid made a mistake, let him pay for it. And I agree to a certain extent, but I also think that uh, after going through something like this, you could use a break. You know, the whole world's coming down probably on this kid, probably a traumatizing experience. So my goal is to kind of remove as much of that trauma as possible and, and turn it into something good. And obviously he'll have learned his lesson, so. Okay, here's a quick recap for you. Max, I believe is the kid's name who rolled this. He is at home pretty stressed out right now. Obviously his whole world is kind of coming down on him because he wrecked his car, he's only 16. So he thinks the Jeep is still up in the ravine. Uh, our plan was to just go pull it out for him and say, here you go. But hearing more about his story and you know how good of a kid he seems to be, I think he could use a break. So what we're gonna do is start tearing this thing down, pull off all the broken parts and pieces we happen to have fenders here for it and uh, we're gonna build it uh, up for them. I don't know how far we're gonna go. Normally this is where we should just do like some fenders and some wheels and tires and get it back to them but you guys know how we do things. It's, it's hard to stop once we get started on a project so Skeeter and Alan are gonna uh, work on tearing it down getting all the broken parts and pieces off. We're gonna see what we've got here to put it back together and uh, this thing is going to look significantly better by the time we're done with it and we only have about a day or two to get that done because like I said, the kid still thinks it's up in the room, so he's just stressing out about it being up there. So we're gonna try to keep him stressed out as long as we can while we do all this work, get him down here, reveal to him his Jeep that's already been repaired, which he is gonna think is in a pile of parts and pieces. I'm actually kind of excited about it. Hiram loves his Jeeps. And these are the fenders that he uh, happens to be building. So we're gonna see how they look, and we might be stealing them. I have to make another set. <laughs> Poor guy. So here's the thing. We kind of wanted to play into this a little bit more, and so we're gonna try to get an interview with him tonight. Just kind of get his like raw reaction. We're not gonna tell him it's out. We're not gonna tell him anything. We want to kind of say like, hey, we're thinking about coming and getting it. Hey, we're wanting to do it, but we wanted to kind of get a little bit more information first, all while we're building it. So. All right, we're just rolling up. He has no idea. We've already got it. We're showing up here to get the scoop on what happened, find out how his friends are doing, find out what his plans are with the Jeep so that we're able to surprise him later on down the road with the Jeep that's all fixed up. What's up, buddy? What's up, Dave? You Max? Max. How you feeling? All right, a little shaken up, but uh, any cuts? Legs a little. Not too bad. Nice nothing I, nothing I can't heal from. Still walking good. How are your buddies? They're pretty beat up? Yeah. He is, uh, he got a collapsed lung, a couple broken ribs, broken clavicle. Yeah. They just put a plate in today. Yeah. So, um, for either let him out in the next couple days. He's, got, he's a twinner with me. I've got the same plate. I'll yeah. some lungs. And... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Max. Max was just up wheeling in his Jeep and he had uh, something unfortunate happen to him. You want to paint the picture for him? So, I was driving up. There was a split in the road and it was kind of a group consensus that left was the way and not right. So we went left and I was just crawling up this hill. There's a rock in the road taking up about half the lane. Crawled around it and, and all of a sudden the road was just completely washed, washed away. My front right tire slipped off. I pushed in the clutch, hit the brakes as hard as I could and there's absolutely nothing I could do. Ooh. Hit kind of an embankment like this, stalled for a second and then we rolled 
three or four times about 100 feet down and Jeez. it was it was pretty brutal we had th three get ejected and two stay in but uh you had two, five people in that in yeah Jeep? yeah for having that bad of an accident having everybody walk away is pretty big so extremely well. lucky yeah. I, there was a higher power there that i think Definitely. saved a lot of lives and only one lives. guy got hurt yeah, search and rescue arrived, arrived first on side-by-sides, and then they made the decision that they need to bring in life flight. So it, it was man. so scary, but... You just turned 16? Yes, sir. I learned my lesson, and everyone's been really good. Um, wrote some cards, went and talked to everyone, filed sheriff's report and everything like that. The case is closed. Well, thank you, Dave. I, no problem, man. Oh, I'm you. glad you're all right. Thanks, Heal Dave. Up. Heal up good, man. Do you have any idea that we have it? No idea. No idea. Good job, Ben. Did. He has no idea that's here. I Good. told him that maybe later this week we'd find it. Nice. Yeah. Love it. But did you see the painted picture? We've got uh, the yeah. whole story now. Nice. Five people. Can you give me one? That's crazy. Well, how many times are we going to do that? <laughs> Look where my head is. And I'm a short guy. A towering five foot nine. <laughs> When it hit on this side and pushed it over that the uh, springs where they bolt to the axle may have tweaked a little bit. So I'm forcing it with a ratchet strap the other way and then just giving it a little bit of a shock with a hammer to help just knock it back into place. All right, so we've gone just about as far as we can go today. The boys are working hard on getting all the fenders taken off, the side steps taken off, anything that was broken off. Ron's ordered all the new parts so we can just put it back together hopefully tomorrow or the next day. We're gonna have this Jeep ready to go for Max. And it's gonna be looking pristine. All right, so you got your leaf spring. No separation, that's probably what it's supposed to look like. You even got a little bit on this side. You got a lot of bit on this side and a little bit on this side. So, Ben, time to put some new ones on. So this is already preformed. Broke it when he rolled. So we got to put it back on, weld it. I got to weld it all the way around where it comes together, the pieces. That way you don't have any exhaust leaks going up into the cab. We got two hangers up in there and then this one I got to squish this a little and then it goes right here it's kind of hanging down a little bit you know I think I might modify it for him a little yeah this is I'm gonna cut this angle off Ron got us hooked up with some sick parts it's black oh it's black yeah it's a resonator tip Dave. <laughs> it won't even hold it up. <laughs> we can put we can put night vision right there, <laughs> and then a laser pointer, and then a red dot just in case. So this is day two of having uh, Max's Jeep here at the shop, and uh, we got a bunch of stuff done. Skeeter, Alan, the guys have been really going hard on it, um, but we're leaving town on Friday for the weekend which means we have to have this done, wrapped up, ready to go, and delivered to him on Thursday, which gives us two days to get all the parts and everything we need. And as we dig deeper, we keep finding more and more damaged components. Um, suspension, leaf springs are completely bent and tweaked, which is why I was driving sideways, which is a great opportunity for us to give him a new lift and new suspension. So I think we're gonna do like a four inch lift. We've got fenders on the way, we've got wheel on the way, right? Replacement yep. wheel. The biggest thing is the body work. Uh, stuff like this right here, you can see the tailgate got bent. We bent it back, got it back in place, but in order, and we have the capability to fix it. We just don't have time right now because we have that truck right there. It's got to be delivered in a couple of days, and our body guy is on that. So we want him to have his Jeep for the weekend. For sure. Holiday weekend. We're leaving. We don't want to just sit here and not have it. No. Mounting things do not fit. Wow. <laughs> have to notch the bottom of that. 
it's a lot better. It's tucked in a lot tighter now, you know, and then we can still maintain that factory cross member, which would be nice. You don't have to have it. We can push it further back, but that's pretty good. So we went back about that far. Okay, so I have to notch this, and then this is gonna go and bolt through these two holes so that the bumper has something substantial to bolt to. Why does the bumper have to sit closer? Uh, it didn't look right because it was sticking out too far, so we had Heavy D come look at it, and he agreed. So we took off about that much, and then it was able to move it back about three inches, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it really matters quite a bit. Then this really long beak, you know? My nose is like out of here. I look like two canned sand, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. We just, we need to make a place for the bolt to bolt into, you know? So we're gonna put a nut right here, we're gonna weld it in there, and then the bolt that comes down from the top will weld right into that. Is it? So we sucked it down, we left the stock cross member in there, and we brought the, the main bumper back about three, four inches. Yeah. We brought this forward so we have more room here and then it looks better. <sighs> to the computer issues with uh, the shocks being repaired at some point in its past and not actually being spaced properly so it's causing the shock to bind okay so we're just fighting some little things right now but it's gonna go fast so Iram's modifying the front fenders me and Alan are putting the lift on and it's stupid little things like this for the shock that are slowing us down the, the shock mounts that were on there they had broken off before so they had, they had done them and then the shock was hitting the axle so Alan's fabricating new ones and uh, the front lift should go on relatively painlessly hopefully is what I'm hoping you know gonna try to reveal it to him tonight but we're not quite ready and don't want to give it to him half-assed four and a half inch lift 35s new wheels new tires new suspension new bumper new fenders a whole new Jeep I love it Okay, it's time. I think. I think we're ready to reveal it. Keep in mind, we only had like two or three days to get as much done as we could. There are things that, as you'll be looking at this, it's not perfect. Some bodywork stuff, the hood isn't quite straight. These are all kind of bigger things that take more time to fix. Max still thinks it's at the bottom of the ravine where he rolled it. So he's at work right now, um, and the plan is we're going to go up and visit him. He thinks that we're coming up to talk to him about kind of the plan to recover it and how we're going to do all that. He has no idea that we even have it. So this should be good. You guys ready? Yep. Go see him. Ready to go. Let's head out there, huh? Let's go. Key. Custom. That's nice. You can't ask for a better key than that. <laughs> I mean, 
imagine being 16, going through this traumatic experience, and then just kind of hanging around, wondering what's gonna happen next. Like, everybody's told them that it's unrecoverable, or it's not gonna happen, or whatever, you know, whatever it was. The fact that we're driving it to him right now, I'm, I'm pumped, I'm just, I'm ecstatic. No, you guys are lying. What? Ooh. Ooh. I thought this thing was in a freaking mountain. Ooh. Ooh. Holy crap. No way. No way. Here's your man. Back. What the heck, dude? I'm mind blown right now. <laughs> no way, guys. Yeah, man. Uh, we got it out. Well, holy crap. Yes, you did. Yeah, you had quite the tumble. How you feeling? Little, uh, little shocked. I <laughs> thought this thing was sitting up in a canyon. Did you really still think it was there? That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Holy crap, guys. No way. In a little <laughs> bit of shock right now, but... Whew. Holy crap. <laughs> so, take a look, man. What did uh, I do? Obviously, whew. it was a pretty cool Jeep, you know. Um, yeah, it was my baby there for yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for sure. But uh, it's obviously got a couple bumps and bruises. Character. And we got back to the shop and we started looking at different things that we could do to it quickly, right? Because, yeah. you know, we only had a couple of days. You guys turned this thing around. Yeah, it turned out good. So we did a new lift for you. It's got a new suspension, new wheels and tires, new fenders, <laughs> new front bumper. There's a bunch of other random stuff. But here's the thing. We're not done yet. I wanted to give it to you today and let okay. you see it. Um, we want to do some stuff under the hood as far as just like cleaning up wiring and yeah. dumb little things. Well, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot thank you guys enough. I, I don't know what I did to, no. to do this, but I, I appreciate it so dang yeah. much. I've been there, man. I rolled my Jeep when I was 16. I know the feeling. Really? So yeah. Did, did the key break off, or was it just a weird key? So it didn't. It started without the. Oh, it did. Yeah. So it was jammed up by the time we got there. So yeah. we actually had to cut your steering column. We yeah. ordered a new one for it, so you'll have one. But for now. Key. Okay. <laughs> literally okay. just you just put it in there and it starts yeah. like normal yeah. um the new steering column will obviously have a new steering wheel and all that stuff so oh my goodness yeah man what do you wow. think i i mean <laughs> <laughs> so my buddy he was out of work for a little bit and so was his mom okay. so i'm gonna be working and uh paying him back for all his lost wages and everything nice. like that helping him out so we got to make that right but i just felt really awful like putting a buddy in the hospital it's something you never it's the worst yeah do. no i hope i can show like kids around me just like buddies like it, it's real yeah. like it'll happen if and it happens an it happens when you think it's not going to happen to you exactly That's the thing. you think this kind of stuff can't happen and then how this took this happened in what three four seconds yeah i mean we we're probably from the top to the bottom 75 yards in 10 seconds yeah how so, long you been driving Ooh. Uh, two weeks. <laughs> oh man, you're way fresh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was in the blue. I was in the blue. <laughs> you guys really got me. Holy crap. Drive it all weekend, hang out, do whatever. Um, next week, let's touch base. We'll get it back to the shop and just okay. kind of fine tune some of those other little things. That's absolutely perfect. Cool. All right, bro. Thank you so yeah, much, man. My Dave. Pleasure, that, man. that was, I mean, this is the biggest <laughs> surprise of my life. I've never had anything like this really? happen. This is absolutely nutty. I mean, I went from being on top of the world, just some kid in his brand new Jeep going hammocking with his buddies right. to being rock bottom, like, but. High highs and oh. low lows. It's not like we've never rolled anything, huh? <laughs> I roll something on a weekly basis. <laughs> Holy crap, this is the nuttiest <laughs> surprise of my life. Ooh, I thought, think, I thought it was like folding in half. All right, Max, we're gonna let you get back to work, but uh, don't roll it this time, okay? <laughs> I won't, I'm no gonna problem. keep it off the mountain All at right, midnight. Man. Okay. Thank you guys, thank you guys. Nice to meet you. Buddy, you too. <laughs> uh, 
of satisfying. He's just gonna sit there for the next half hour. <laughs> yeah, you could see him trying to like process it. It's that exact. right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we do what we do. Because I know that there's gonna be a, a handful of just pissed off, sad, angry people that are gonna think like, oh, dumb kid didn't deserve it because he wrecked it. Well, you're wrong. Because that kid is very genuine and he wasn't doing something reckless. He was just out exploring, doing what kids do. He's been driving for two weeks and then he rolled it. So hopefully he learned uh, a valuable lesson, which I'm sure he probably did. And uh, now he's got a second shot at kind of everything. So you know what you guys should do now? If you liked this video, which I can't imagine why you wouldn't, you should just go ahead and like it and subscribe and turn on your notifications and tell me three nice things you like about me.